And hello again, everyone! We are, as always, Gaming by Gaslight, and we are going through the scary door in Soma. It listens. It can't see, but it listens. Oh god, there it is. Shh, be very, very quiet. Just don't touch anything. Just keep on walking. Just slip away. Just be very quiet. We have to reset this router. Oh, that's why I think why she said it, because there's info in the proxy, but I forgot to... Okay. Now pull the switch. Please wait. Please wait. Oh shit. Jesus. Now we just have to creep away and hope it doesn't hear us. Oh man, you should have seen me play this the last time. I mean, it, the thing is supposedly blind, but I, in the uh, Lost episodes, it actually did seem to react to my light. Which is kind of disturbing to f when you think about it. Let's uh, slow it down. Because it does start wandering around down here. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Come on, Simon. Chop, chop. Because as you probably noticed, it doesn't have any arms. So it can't climb out of there. Good which is... job, Simon. This better have worked. I'm not going down there again. Also, that door is starting to open. That's never a good sign, is it? And here we go. We're actually making much better progress this time. I think it took me three episodes to get through everything that was going on in here. to keep close to the show station in case something went wrong. Really stuck on. But we're pretty safe in here. I mean, we have the fancy pilot chair. This is where I did my scam, and all the others, I suppose. You don't remember all this crazy Last stuff. Was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Ah, uh, data buffer. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Comrade killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Uh, maser tool. What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please. So close. Stormwire's gonna shut down the ARC project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300 pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Yeah. Some crazy stuff. Also, we have some more crazy stuff. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Erase data. I don't want to do that. That would be mean. Like, uh, look at here. We have Berg. Oh, it's David Munchie. Haven't heard that name in a while. He's Canadian. Never Canuck. And as you can see, Munchie. Yeah. How did this? Munchie and Berg. This? They said they could save me, but they let Simon die. Oh, speaking of Simon, Simon Jared. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Yes. 
Oh, let's have a listen to Meat Sack, Simon. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... This freaky, so many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Yes. <laughs> but you died, like, pretty much a month after having your brain scanned. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. Of course, now that I think about this, it's amazing they managed to keep, like, almost 100-year-old audio recordings at this point. Like, why did they keep all this data? How did all this data from this brain scan project end up surviving into the year 2134, or whatever year it is? The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope... ...wasted. <laughs> That's a line from the trailer. I love that, and in the trailer, it was like such a big line with so much weight behind it. It's always interesting when like lines like that, and then they end up being like these little things that you could completely miss. Should I erase myself? No, I'm not going to do that. We can have copy Jared's. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Look at all them suicides. <laughs> Though when you think about it, it's well, it's almost a major. It's almost half and half, really. And this dick had to ruin it for everyone. And we have a bunch of people who were scheduled to be scanned, but then it never happened. Good, good job, good job ruining it for everyone. Oh, no, actually, no. We won't plug anything in there yet. This is where I would store the arc scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter. If that makes sense, less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. Oh, it is seemingly randomized. Careful there, you. Ah, oh, there it is. Yoink! An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. Yes, we can. Okay. So interesting thing about this is uh, these were uh, Reed was like one of the ones who was created by the WoW. I oh no, never mind. Emojin Reed, compressed Nakajima Neurograph. Also, Nakajima Neurograph. Wait, I thought one of these guys was um, created by. Let's see. We could take all these test environments. Ah, the WoW created this one. Scan room. What? Oh, copy the chip. Okay. Beach. 
we could load the beach. Or a floating tank. Corrupt data. Okay. So yeah. Basically, because I already know how everything- Whoa. Watch it, you. Since I already know how everything works with this. I feel like I've sort of lost some of the magic that's going to be going on here. Yeah, basically, we are reviving someone. There should be a list of people. See if there's anyone who could know a security cipher. It's Brandon, as it happens. Delta refugee, construct wrangler, working for Strohmeyer. Yeah, you may remember him. Brandon was like a friend of that robot guy Very we killed. Toxic. I'll just load him up and get the simulator going. I still feel bad about killing that one robot there guy. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're gonna have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. All right, let's run. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? Where did it? Alice? Congratulations, Mr. Wan. The scan was successful. Sean? Where's Alice? She had to leave. Listen, I really need to know the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is the trick. Please calm down. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. We took it all away again. I really thought that was going to work. Maybe we can try again. Oh, we will. But we do need some... extra special convincing. Uh, Brandon... Brandon... Here we go. Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. Thank you. If we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. Yeah, we can see some pretty cool places that he wanted to see or maybe visit it. Wibble wobble wibble wobble. Brandon, you ready to go? Strohmeyer says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Strasky and I'll borrow to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. Heard some lady telling Brandon to hurry up. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. That's Alice Coster. Wouldn't have guessed they even knew of each other. Interesting. Hmm, looks like someone was an engineering genius. Why didn't you keep this on your shelf? Show some pride in your achievements, my good sir. Here. That's the way future generations will see it, without having to rummage through his stuff. Okay. So, oh, what's this? His ID. 177. See, in the future, we will be using the metric system. Take that, Imperial. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old Imperial. What is this? Paperweight? Ugh. Get out of the way there, spinny chair. Oh, looks like he and Alice Here. were a couple. Ooh, like some origami. Oops. Cool, picture of his family. Acres finally agreed. Acres. Yeah, we're actually fine. We, actually that thing downstairs might have been Acres? No, that was a proxy, but Acres might have ended up turning into something like that. You know, stick around for a while longer. Crazy bastard. Arc scan with Alice. Seems like Alice and Brandon okay. did their scans together. Oh, we can definitely use that. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. Yeah. So, we're learning a lot here. I was worried about spoiling this by accident, but... Notice how when Mark here talks about Chun, it's uncomfortable, she was socially awkward. Okay, Conrad wanted in, killed himself. Comrade B survey team is going to pick up Ackers. Yes. Well, 
it's not accurate it comes back. Well, I guess it is, technically. It's not really anything exciting down there. Let's roll. Oh, wait a minute, tick. I don't recall noticing this. Ooh. Ah. Bunch of technical mumbo jumbo. Alright, back to the lab then. The legacy scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So, if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines, thinking they are people, is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. Also, it seems like there's something bumping around in the ventilation. That's definitely not disturbing at all. And as I was saying, we find out, like, we come across more info like this, unless I missed it in my rush to make up for the lost episodes. And, uh... Yeah, apparently Meat Sack Catherine was a very socially awkward and kind of, I guess, shy person. But Robot Catherine seems quite different. I mean, I suppose becoming a robot could change your perspective on life and suddenly make you realize you have social skills you didn't realize you had. But it's making me wonder. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up, bastard. Well, that's what you get for listening to his stories. I guess I had it coming. Abastro, he's sending you to the new site for ASAP. What should I tell him? It's all right. I can talk to him. Wait, didn't Chum just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anyone. I do feel hungover. Okay, it's 1729 over 42. 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, Mr. Long. Brandon. Goodbye. Wait. No, wait. That's enough. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. Well, could I leave it on? No, if I leave it on, he's basically stuck in this computer by himself forever. So instead, we'll we'll shut the computer down. That way, if someone happens to come along and pick these up, they can theoretically save him. Of course, Simon, I. Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dunbat now. Get back here. Thanks for interrupting me, Catherine. But then again, maybe this will end up creating a new enemy later. Maybe Mark will uh, wind up being absorbed by the WoW. These are the questions. Did I never use this door? <laughs> yeah, I did this in the Lost episodes as well. I just, you know, screw the door that's actually there. I'm there gonna you use just my own door. Warming up the Dunbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Roger that, Mom Capitone. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. That's weird. Never mind. What aren't you telling us, Catherine? I already know. But then again, I sort of wonder if... Even though I know, I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? Because we're... We're actually making pretty good progress. To get this far, I think it took... A fair amount longer. Mostly because I was just... I'm, I'm rushing a bit, I, I have to admit that. Because I... Alright. I want to make up for the lost episodes and get into stuff that I haven't seen yet. Hopefully I'm not compromising the experience too much by doing this. So... 
I I'm pretty sure we're still on track, really. Okay, all systems are okay. Preparing to release. Now, look at all that robot cancer. Surely nothing's gonna go wrong. No, oh, calm down. All Catherine's fault, eh? Alright, let's let's get back up. Stand up. Stand to attention, sir. It's actually funny, I immediately knew to do this, even in the lost episodes. There was no real wandering around. As soon as I saw I could grab this, I thought, well, I must be pulling this over here to go somewhere. And as it turned out, <laughs> this is where we're going. Yep, into the vents. Let's get some lights going here. It's so slow in the vents, though. Now I am going to try something different. We. Ugh, bit of a loading screen. Whoa. Yeah, we're gonna go this way instead. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there, there is no, nothing, nothing in that direction for us. Over here, however. Also, listen, listen very carefully. Is it just us here in the vents? I... somehow sus If we don't move, will we see anything in the hallway below us? I don't know, but we are going to the lower levels. There's something going on down here. And we're also about to learn a very... awkward... <laughs> truth about exactly what... Oh boy. It's going to be a very awkward reveal, in my opinion anyway, coming up about Simon's new robot body. It might not be exactly what we thought it was. <laughs> and it'll also explain why we need a super pressure suit in order to go deep sea diving. The answers are in the radiation chamber. Let's roll. Talking, that's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The dumbbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the dumbbat, the only other way would be the climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. Alright, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the arc. Yes. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Okay, finalize arc scans we have. Sorry for all of you who wanted to go on but didn't get a chance. Never meant for anyone to take their lives. There's never my intention to fool anyone. I just want to save something. Catherine Chung. Or Chun. Alright. Load the bullet. I always find that interesting. That's for shooting into space. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We, of course, have this. And the Arc Attitude Survey! Let's take this exe- Excuse me. Donation. Let's see. Blah blah blah. I think the Arc Project is the most logical step towards saving mankind, and we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. I agree. It's rather important, but not so much that I strongly agree. Let's see. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save mankind. Yeah, I agree with that. A little pain- No pain, no gain, and all that. I got very philosophical with some of these questions, but I'm just gonna rush through it this time. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Ooh. 
Something about Ranger Mark 7 probe. Now here's a question. Do we really want to leave Earth? Like, here I'll get a little philosophical. I mean, as robots, should the robots inherit the Earth, or should we go flying off into space and colonize a new planet to destroy on behalf of mankind? I mean, of course, if we go into space, we could always come back and repopulate the world, the world, the Earth, later. I will agree about going into space, though. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and mortality. This is a very, very <laughs> interesting philosophical question. But personally, I don't really... I'm going to disagree. Not strongly disagree, just regular disagree with uh, the idea of losing humanity. I, I think it's possible that even if, like, the whole idea of, like, digitizing humanity, there are some people, apparently, who think, like, out in the real world, who think this is the next step, like, eventually uploading our minds into computers and, you know, AI and all that jazz, and that'll be, like, the successor to our old, old meat sack homo sapiens, and we'll be all digital homo sapiens. Interesting qu philosophical stuff there, with lots of very uncomfortable questions that need answers. I think even an inferior group of artificial people. Ah, yes, this is the idea of it. Basically, what I think this question boils down to is the idea that our artificial intelligence is capable of being human. And what does it mean to be human at all? Do you have to be born flesh and blood, or can the concept of humanity, which when you think about it, does humanity even necessarily mean you have to be homo sapien? Or does humanity encompass something larger? Like, even if we encounter out in the real world, like, alien races someday, at some, you know, distant world and some distant star and all that jazz, could we still describe alien beings as human if they were capable of the same kind of thought and feeling and so forth as us? And these are the questions. But I, I agree, I'll strongly agree with this one. I, I, I'm all for equal rights for robots. And we can see how pe most people strongly agree of approving the Ark. Uh, most people like eternity among the stars. Oh, few people. I forget if these stats are the same as last time. I think they aren't. I think they're sort of randomized. In inferior companion. Of course, I don't like describing them as inferior. I mean, I suppose early AI would be inferior to, you know, all the natural intelligence, but uh, AI will get there, probably. Though this was a pretty even split, when you think about it, which is pretty interesting. Pain for gain? Most people agree with that. Oh, n surprisingly, no one disagreed. That seems odd, for some reason. An artificial evolution. Uh... Oh, about losing humanity. Yeah, most people apparently were concerned, but it was pretty close. And with that philosophical musings, we shall uh, plug in this simulation here. And next time, we'll go run the simulation and learn inside that chamber over there a disturbing truth. Well, you might consider it disturbing. I consider it mildly disturbing myself. But for now, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Your support really, really does mean a lot. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I will see you in the next video.